This is Ember Jackson, Senior Pastor, First United Methodist Church, Tupelo, sharing another devotion with us today. How many of you remember as a child saying this prayer? Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. I used to say that prayer every night as a child and find comfort in it. It was simple, it was easy to remember, and something about the words gave me comfort. Even though looking back now as a pastor and as an adult, those little words can often be disturbing because they talk about perhaps dying in the night. I'm reminded when I repeat those words of that prayer of Psalm 3, 5. Psalm 3, 5. It reads, I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. During this time of pandemic, many persons are having insomnia. They're having a hard time sleeping. They are disturbed because they do not know what the future holds. Perhaps they've lost their jobs. Perhaps the hours at work have been cut back or drastically reduced or they are furloughed. Perhaps they don't have the ability to get to the store to pick up the food that they need to eat. Perhaps they are nervous because their loved one has come down with coronavirus. They themselves have the COVID-19. But I am reminded, and I remind you, that the psalmist says, I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. These simple words Remind us that God will sustain us even when we sleep. And I know saying it's easy to sleep would be futile. But God wants us to be reminded when we go to sleep at night, we go to bed to say our prayers as children often do, and to be reminded that God is and will sustain us. And so that little prayer, I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. We ought to find comfort in those simple words. And comfort in the words of the psalmist when he says, I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. And so if you've been having trouble sleeping because the world looks like it's in the midst of a nightmare. If you've been having trials and tribulations in your life and find difficulty to be at rest and peace, remember these words, God sustains us. So go forth from this place knowing that the God who made us will also sustain us. Amen. Let us bow our heads. God, remember us when we sleep. Give us peace of mind, clarity of heart. Remind us, dear God, that you will sustain us and that you care for us. Therefore, we can sleep peacefully, knowing that we are in your hands. This we ask in thy name. Amen.